Venturing into episode 417 of Jordan Peterson's podcast, one might have hoped for a labyrinth of intellectual rigour and insightful discourse, particularly given the grandiose themes it purported to address, the complexities of immunological systems, the essence of entrepreneurial success, and the supposed interplay between cellular behaviour and metaphysics. Alas, what unfolds is a spectacular exercise in intellectual vacuity, a masterclass in the art of saying much without saying anything of substance. Peterson, once a figure who stirred the intellectual pot with some degree of finesse, seems to have descended into a pit of banality, regurgitating half-baked ideas that flirt with profundity but consummate nothing. The conversation with Derek Cooper, ostensibly a dialogue between intellectual equals, instead comes off as an exercise in mutual ego-stroking, with Cooper's background in investment banking and biopharmaceuticals oddly positioned as a vantage point for sweeping philosophical generalizations. One glaring instance of this intellectual charade is the discussion of immunological systems, a topic that demands a certain scientific rigor. Instead, what we are offered is a muddled conflation of biological concepts, with grandiose metaphysical assertions, a tragic squandering of an opportunity to delve into the fascinating complexities of the human body's defense mechanisms. Peterson and Cooper's approach to this topic resembles less the careful method of the scientist and more the vague musings of a philosopher who has read the abstract of a biology paper and deemed himself an expert. The segment on entrepreneurial success and its supposed link to certain personality traits reeks of reductionism. The idea that a single trait, or a constellation of them, can be the cornerstone of entrepreneurial success is a gross oversimplification that ignores the chaotic and multifaceted nature of human behaviour and society. It is the sort of pop psychology that one might expect from a self-help book, not a discussion claiming to have its roots in serious psychological research. Furthermore, the dialogue's foray into the realm of metaphysics and its connection to cellular behavior is so bewilderingly vague and unfounded that it borders on the nonsensical. One is left to wonder whether this is a deliberate obfuscation, a smokescreen of complex terminology intended to mask the absence of real depth. It is reminiscent of the worst kind of academic writing, verbose, unclear, and ultimately saying very little of value. Equally disheartening is the duo's tryst with the concept of reciprocity and its societal implications, touted with the zeal of a revelatory insight, yet delivered with the analytical depth of a puddle. Their treatment of this concept, which could have opened avenues into rich discussions about social dynamics, altruism or even economic systems, is reduced to platitudinous drivel. The dialogue meanders through this topic with an air of self-importance but ultimately fails to dissect or add anything meaningful to the discourse. This segment epitomizes the episode's overarching theme, a surface-level exploration of complex ideas, dressed up in the language of profundity but devoid of any real intellectual substance or rigor. This episode is a lamentable display of intellectual lethargy, where one might have hoped for a rigorous examination of the intersections between biology, psychology, and philosophy, we are instead subjected to a parade of clichés and superficial reasoning, a conversation that skims the surface but fears to dive into the depths. Peterson and Cooper, in their eagerness to cover a vast intellectual terrain, end up lost in a wilderness of their own making, leaving the listener none the wiser for their journey. <laughs>